guys i'm dropping a new hi-hat midi kit we're gonna have like 50 hi-hat midis we're gonna have like 30 more hi-hat midis processed through effect tricks we're gonna have like 15 melody midis in there and then we're gonna have like 10 samples in there all you gotta do to win one of these kits is go to my ig follow me like and comment on my last post and then that's pretty much it that being said let's go straight into this tutorial gang 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 Lil Tecca if I'm not mistaken I believe he's coming out with an album soon go for like a really spaced out bouncy 808 let's just find a pluck somewhere we can use flex for this and that a lot of my melodies are, are in G sharp if you guys notice that could work. Maybe we can actually move this one lower. Move e like that. Okay, boom. So we had the little chord progression going on. I'm gonna go ahead and press Control B to copy that over to the right side because one thing y'all wanna make sure is y'all don't wanna make your melodies four bars long. That's not long enough. Unless the melody is really good and the sound is not kind of annoying then you're not going to be able to make it work with only four bars so you make it make it eight bars long you feel me uh let's start making this into the pluck so we can go something like um we start off on the root note and then maybe let's go top and then side Maybe we can add another note in here. Let's go. Let's go control L real quick. This is too late. I need more space in here. All right, so we just need to pretty much copy the same pattern over on the other side with the with the chords, and then we'll have like a pretty even uh kind of a rhythm let's skip that like that and then this goes here control l again and then we have a little kind of stutter like that that should sound good skip one we hit right in the middle and then that top note we hit right about here so control l let's see what that sounds like something else all right so that sounds good to me let's control b that hoe and let's see what that sounds like we can also press alt r to randomize these notes a little bit comes to Valhalla because I just like the way Valhalla sounds. 
probably the best reverb out here. I'm not going to lie to you. And I actually want to clone this and use a second pluck at the same time. Let's see if they have anything else. I'm going to copy this, paste it. kind of mix it in and now what we can actually do is I'm gonna put uh, both of these on mixer one and then let's add a half time to this just to add a little more bounce half time to this and then we can go and well, actually let's just see what that sounds like first bum, 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 bum. so 150 hertz pass the reason why i use 150 hertz is because usually anything below that is going to be straight 808 so this is a pretty common you know thing when it comes to mixing any melody usually just cut all that out now what i'm gonna do with the half time is i'm not just gonna put it on i'm gonna put it on halfway so we have the low end and the high end version coming at the same time Super VHS to make it sound a little older. Now we got to get that 808 in here. And we can start with some drums now because usually on Lil Tekka beats, they're hella, hella simple. They just need one strong melody um, that's good enough kind of to kind of take you throughout the beat. And then that's pretty much it. So let's get uh, some claps in here. I like that one. Okay, you just messed that up. Take this to bar, hi hat, take it to two steps, and let's see what that sounds like. Now that we have that little bounce going, let's just go ahead and burn this. And now let's just get an 808 pattern, and then uh, we can see where the hell we're gonna go from there. So I like to just follow the bass line just like this at first, and then we can go ahead and make changes after that. Control L, make sure that all of the volumes are the same. I'm not, I'm not feeling a bounce yet. Let's see, let's see. So we can go ahead and turn up the color. If y'all want like some more distorted 808s without going crazy, turn up the EQ. Let's go ahead and get the melody back in here. We can go with the soft clipper right here. Metronome on. Let's just put another note here and then let's press Alt to you and then let's right click and bring the volume down. See what that sounds like. You can actually bring these down like that. Okay, that's not bad. Control B. Let's delete these hi hats. That's too short. That's too short, man. We need a different open hat. Nice little like snare roll. Nice little snare roll at the end. All right, that should work. 
work, you're just gonna keep like that. You're gonna split by channel. You're gonna do a very simple, simple, extremely simple layout. And you're sending out beats to artists. Like, obviously, to have the transitions, it definitely helps. But artists, like, like for the most part, you don't gotta do too much. You feel me? You don't gotta do too much. It's just gotta be like a good beat. And even it's fun, funny because even if you don't think the beat is that good, if the artist likes it, like, what you gonna say? No. We're just gonna say no, bro. That beat isn't good. If you guys like this video, if you guys learned something, leave a like, drop a comment, and hit the notification bell. Because if you're not already subscribed, I did that all in the wrong order, but it don't matter. Point is, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It helps me out and it helps me uh, know that y'all, you know, rocking with these with these videos. So with that being said, I'm gonna catch you guys next time.